Air to a tire is like oil to the engine. Without it, the vehicle comes to a dead stop. And just like you can't tell if an engine is low on oil by putting your hand on the hood, you can't tell the air pressure of a tire by kicking the sidewall. The amount of air pressure inside a tire has a direct effect on everything related to the life and performance of the tire. For example, if the air pressure is too low, then the chances of irregular tread wear or tire failure are going to increase. On the other hand, if the air pressure is too high, the extra stiffness in the sidewall can cause an impact break when the tire hits a pothole or curb. Every manufacturer specifies the correct inflation pressure for the front and rear tires on the vehicle tire placard, which is located on the driver's door jam. On this vehicle, the proper inflation pressure is 33 PSI on the front tires and 33 PSI on the rear. It's also important to know that the pressures listed on the placard are cold, so the tires should be checked first thing in the morning or after the vehicle is sat for at least a couple of hours. As the tire flexes going down the road, it creates heat. The heat inside the tread and sidewalls heats the air inside the tire, which causes the pressure to rise. The general rule is that for every 10 degree Fahrenheit change in temperature, there is a 1 PSI change in air pressure. In the summer months, this means that a tire starting the day with the correct cold inflation pressure will appear to be overinflated after driving. But in the winter, a tire that appears to have the correct inflation pressure after driving the vehicle may be underinflated when the tire cools down. That's why the TPMS light on the dashboard lights up on cold mornings and then goes out after driving or the weather warms up. Even though the light goes out when the air pressure rises because of heat, one or more of the tires are still underinflated, so the warning should not be ignored. Another factor that has a direct effect on tire pressure is diffusion. Every day, a small amount of air inside the tire naturally seeps through the sidewalls, which causes it to lose about one PSI per month. While nitrogen inflation may slow the diffusion process, it cannot prevent punctures and other types of leaks. So you should still check your tire pressure at least once a month. That's another reason why you should never ignore the TPMS light. It could be a sign that one or more of your tires is losing air and will eventually fail or go flat. The best thing to do when you see the TPMS light is check the air pressure as soon as possible. If a tire dealer is not in the area, find a coin-operated or free air station and then check the air in all of your tires. If any of them are low on air, inflate them to the pressure listed on the placard. Since most people use air stations to inflate their tires, it's also important to know that the gauge on the end of the hose is not always accurate. For example, on this machine, the gauge on the end of the hose shows an inflation pressure of 30 PSI inside the tire. When the pressure is checked against a high quality air gauge, the actual air pressure is 35 PSI, a difference of almost 15%. That's why you should always verify the air pressure with a handheld air gauge after inflating your tires. In most cases, commercially available inflation gauges are accurate within a few pounds. It's a good idea to check an inflation gauge against another gauge to see if the readings are the same. In this test, the gauge that you might think is the most accurate is actually the one with the wrong inflation pressure. Remember, the TPMS light is a warning that something is wrong with the air pressure inside your tires. If one or more of your tires are losing air, the end result can be expensive and potentially dangerous, so never ignore the TPMS warning light. Proper tire inflation pressure has a lot of benefits. From better fuel mileage to improved tire wear, the financial advantages of properly inflated tires are well documented. And more importantly, the correct air pressure means the tires can safely carry the weight of the vehicle and maintain consistent contact with the road. On the other hand, the consequences of underinflated tires can be much more severe. When the inflation pressure cannot support the weight of the vehicle and its contents, the overflexing in the sidewalls creates additional heat. As the flexing increases, the bonds between the steel belts and the tire body start to break down, which weakens the strength of the tire. 
Eventually, the heat becomes so severe that the components separate and cause what most people call a blowout. If the separation occurs at highway speeds, the result can be deadly. In most cases, these types of accidents are preventable if you follow a few simple tips for proper tire inflation. First, always use a handheld gauge to check the tire pressure at least once a month or before a long trip. Second, use the inflation pressures listed on the placard and check the tires first thing in the morning. Third, replace the valve cap on the valve stem and use plastic valve caps on TPMS sensors with metal valves. And finally, it's a good idea to keep an air gauge in the vehicle at all times so you can check the air pressure after you see the TPMS light on the dashboard. Even with the best maintenance program, there will be times when you need professional help to fix the problem so your vehicle can be operated safely. The most important thing to remember is that tire safety starts with inflation because low air pressure will eventually lead to failure and it may cost you more than just a new tire or a few dollars in fuel.